there's been an ongoing explosion in social media assets for learning about Jewish genealogy and in fact, just genealogy in, se in general. So as Jewish genealogists, of course, we also need to know about general genealogy. A lot of the same applies. And then we have our little special Jewish twists on things that we also have to gain knowledge um, about. So I'm gonna cover a few things in, in both areas. Um, I'm right now just gonna focus on Facebook as far as social media assets. You have Shelley Dardashti's Tracing the Tribe, which started out as a blog, and many of you may have remembered that and subscribed to it, but it's been on Facebook for a number of years now, and there are well over 30-some thousand members. There's lots of information being shared and questions asked and answered every day. People easily post photos of documents and request translations. And many times this can be a lot easier for those of you who've posted on Jewish Gen's Viewmate. You know, that's, it's a wonderful process and a lot of experts are there, but a lot of those same experts are also on Facebook and it's easier um, to upload and it, it all happens at internet speed, basically. I mean, people within hours are responding back, if not even shorter. Um, the responses we've seen specifically to Jewish genealogy questions are very quick and plentiful. That's the good news and the bad news. Sometimes you get a storm of responses and you have to sort through them all and you don't know which ones are the best. You just want the one best answer, right? Um, that's, that's the good and the bad news of working on the internet. Avutano uh, Online is another Facebook um, page that was announced a few years ago, and there's more than 17,000 people that are following Avutano Online on Facebook. And there you're going to find republication of some excellent articles from Avutano. Avutain is, you know, more than 30 years of being the premier and I believe only international journal on Jewish genealogy. It's a quarterly, fantastic information in there and you'll find a lot of republication articles, some of the best of the best on this particular Facebook page. The Ju Jewish um, genealogy portal has a group with, I think, um, over 70,000 members now. It's moderated by R Randy Schoenberg, and some of you may know him. He's not only a very experienced Jewish genealogist with a specialty in Austrian Jewish genealogy. Um, some of you may recognize his name if you've seen the movie, The Woman in Gold, which is a story of the recovery of the Klimt painting. That lawyer is our very own Jewish genealogist, Randy Schoenberg. Um, so he's, he's our, 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 our Jewish genealogist and celebrity, if you will, in our community. Um, a couple of years ago, Jewish Gen came on board as a partner of the Jewish genealogy portal. It was started by Randy, and um, that portal now is, is supported in cooperation with Jewish Gen. And while not specific to Jewish genealogy, there was a Facebook group for Jewish, um, I'm sorry, for genealogy translations of any type, any foreign language. Um, it had more than 13,000 members, and many of our Jewish genealogy friends um, were member of this group, and they would help out with translation requests, you know, a Polish record or a Hebrew headstone or ketubah or whatever. If you knew of this group um, but hadn't followed it lately, it has been shut down. Um, and this was, there was some participant drama and people abusing other people's help, and which is unfortunate because the help there was very, very good and very quick turnaround. The good news is a new admin started up a very similar Facebook group. So if you can't find the old one, look for this newer one. And it is, um, last I looked at it, recaptured about a half of the audience had figured it out and already moved over to um, this new genealogical translations group. And I hope it is as productive and doesn't fall into the same, same trap as the others. Also not specific to Jewish genealogy, um, but still very helpful, especially while we are in the mindset of New Year's resolutions, is the genealogy do-over group that is on Facebook. How many of you sometimes find something and you go, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I, I did that or put that or entered that the way I did back then? Do you ever get kind of, you have those moments? Well, that's what genealogy do-over is all about. Um, that group has more than 18,000 members. It's led by somebody named Thomas McKenty. Some of you may, if you go to a lot of genealogy conferences or follow Facebook, he's out there talking. He's a great speaker. He's very dynamic. 